why does concrete need sand? The short answer to that is for strength. And the longer answer is the cement part of the concrete mix is kind of like a glue, an adhesive. And the sand is part of the aggregate, which is basically the things that the adhesive are gluing together. So, for example, sand and cement can make a mortar or concrete product on its own. You don't need gravel at all. The only reason you use the larger aggregate, gravel, is just for bulk, to take up space essentially, and that's just so that the concrete becomes less expensive by volume. So it doesn't technically even need the larger rocks. But the reverse of that is not true. You wouldn't want to make concrete that is only the Portland cement and large rocks with no finer aggregates. And the reason, if you, if you can imagine what it would be like if you considered Portland as glue, and you're using glue to glue large rocks together, well, large rocks wouldn't really glue together very well because their surfaces don't really meet up very well and you'd have to have huge thick areas of glue all on its own and then rock surface. It just doesn't work very well and that's why you need the smaller aggregate to help span all of the smaller areas and fill the joints in between where the, the rocks are, the larger aggregate. And that's the reason why you need to have sand as part of the concrete process. If you found this information helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.